little snail and Dolly the ladybird play with their forest friends in their happy little world. Dolly the ladybird and Berry the little snail, always fun games to play, always a brand new tale. Berry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? Bubbles Tower it was a lovely summer afternoon and Bubble the baby beetle decided to play with his colourful building blocks. I'm going to build a tall tower with my blocks, he thought to himself and carried them to a hill nearby. He tipped the bright blocks out of their box in the shade of a big oak tree. As the tower grew, it was harder and harder for Bubble to reach the top. He had to stand on tiptoe and was just reaching for the top when his hand slipped and the tower tumbled to the ground. Oh no, Bubble complained. Now I have to start all over again. So the baby beetle started again from the beginning. The tower soon began to grow and was very tall indeed. But oh dear, an acorn from the oak tree knocked the baby beetle's tower down. My lovely tower! My tower's ruined again! It was the silly oak tree's fault, he said out loud. So Little Bubble started again, but this time he moved out from under the old oak tree. He was stacking the blocks on top of each other when his friends Berry the Snail, Dolly the Ladybug and Stanley the Stag Beetle came walking over. Wow, you've built a beautiful tower, Bubble, they all said. Yes, it's nearly finished. All I have to do is put the red triangle on the very top. But then the wind blew and toppled his tall tower. Bubble got very angry. I don't believe it. I don't want to build towers anymore. I'm going home. His friends ran after him. Bubble, wait. Why don't we rebuild your tower together? No, I don't want to build towers anymore. You can't build a really high tower with this many blocks anyway, grumbled. He went into his house and slammed the door shut. How can we help Bubble? Dolly puzzled. We've got to think of a way to cheer him up somehow. I know what we can do, Stanley said. I've got another set of building blocks at home. I'll go and fetch them so we can build a really high tower together. That's a super idea. I have a box full of building blocks too. And I'll bring mine. We'll build the tallest tower ever. Berry pulled his blocks in a little trailer. Dolly pushed hers in a wheelbarrow. And Stanley carried his in a big basket. Bubble, look, we brought our building blocks. Why don't we build a big tower together? Dolly asked nicely. We could build it in your house so that the wind won't knock it down again, Berry added. Goodness me, look at all those building blocks. We'll be able to build a very big tower with them, the baby beetle said with a smile. And now it's time to pop the red triangle on the top. You should put it on, Bubble, Stanley suggested. Hooray! It's finished! They all shouted together. Then Berry, Dolly and Stanley said goodnight to Bubble. The baby beetle went to bed very happy that night. He stared at the tower until he fell fast asleep.